And speaking of bonuses, we've got a bonus episode with Mommy Longlegs at the end, so keep watching. Wonder what she's up to? Folding cardboard in her condition? Well, she's sticking it in the corner. Throw down a sheet. Add a layer of pillows on top. And tuck them in nice and tight. Throw the pillows on top of the cardboard for your new bed. It's comfort and structure all in one. Ah. Huh? Ugh, spiders! They don't pay rent and leave their cobwebs yeah. everywhere. Hmm. hmm, maybe all this tool fabric can come in handy though. Yeah. Let's tie a bunch of these onto a hula hoop. Each one can be a different color or whatever you like. Hang it up and it's a lovely canopy bed. Who left these pool noodles in here? That's very considerate. They're always great for a good craft. Add them to another sheet. Keeping four inside and sticking two out as arches. Add some cushioning and hang whatever you want on top. Aw, a mommy and me pair of sloths. Really keeping on brand. This desk is really proving to be a pain in the... Never mind. Look at all these rubber duckies. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. This should make these corners nice and soft and baby-proof. Hmm. A pom-pom maker? What's she gonna do with that? <laughs> Run some yarn around the device and fold it together like a donut. Cut along the rim. Pull tight and soon you'll have your own pom-pom. <laughs> Make a bunch and hang along the wall. It adds a splash of color, and it's fun to play with. I think someone let the spiders back in. It's a chair, a chair with holes, the SpongeBob of chairs. It needs a paint job. Use a brush or just use your hands. When it dries, Run a ribbon through the holes. So you have two circles. Add pom-poms inside. Some pink dipped bananas will add just the right touch. Now they're horns. With all these spots, this chair looks like a cow. But every <laughs> cow needs an udder. At least the girl wants. Just take some gloves and fill with slime. And you can practice milking till the cows come home. Looks like she's eating cake for two, lucky. You just can't beat a good bun cake. Wait, what the? Oh no! This casserole dish is all scratched up! Well, this paint will cover it up at least. Ooh, she's adding little gems around the rim. Starting to think this pan's cooking days are over. It's a chalkboard the baby can play with. Or anyone, really. Why should babies have all the fun? Just be happy that wasn't a block you stepped on. In fact, a broken toy can be a source of inspiration. We can paint each of these animals a different color. And line them up all in a row. Oh. 
hang them up on the wall, and they've become our brand new coat rack. Oh, no, this cardboard box could make a great tent. Add something soft to lie on. We're indoors, we're not roughing it. In fact, let's add a pretty cover we can secure with clothespins. Hmm, with this stencil, we can add a few stars, too. Some light can add that shine that stars are known for. Pillows and toys can add that finishing touch. And who can forget Huggy Wuggy? <laughs> Camp under the stars, without all that pesky outdoors. Uh. Done with that bottle? We can use that and this towel holder for our next craft. Let's cover up this piece with some paint. Now, fill this bottle with lights and bring them together. Hang some little butterfly clips, too. <laughs> and add some cotton to make a soft cloud. That doubles as a charming nightlight. Ah. Look at all these shoes, but more importantly, all those boxes. Hang them up for some quick cubby shelves. And it comes complete with covers you can decorate too. Wait, no, it can't hold that much. Aww. What are we gonna do with this broken chair? Hmm. Cover it with a hat? Yeah. Ooh, upside down. The perfect place to keep our secret stash. Especially <laughs> with these two as our security team. Guess she's practicing for when the baby comes. Oh my. She needs the practice. Can I have some watermelon? First the watermelon. Now she's turning pool noodles into string cheese. Wait, the way she's matching them up, she's up to something. Oh, she's baby-proofing the floor. At least part of it. This room's really coming together. All it needs now is the baby. <laughs> and here's our little bundle of joy now. She's ready to go exploring. And while she's doing that, everything else is free to play with. <laughs> Time for some candy. And our b -b -b bonus episode. Aww. Aww, Huggy Wuggy's <laughs> watching out for any monsters out there. Isn't that nice? And he's trying to say hello. What's going on with that sock? And that stuffing? Well, we're tying it up like a pink sausage. Granted, hmm. sausages tend to be pink anyway. And it looks like we're adding some pop tubes. Just run through the holes. Add some little final touches, like eyes and a mouth. <laughs> and some lashes. Want to look your best, after all. And now, we have a cute little nighttime buddy to watch out for you. Guess Huggy Wuggy can take a break now. Infantastic stuff! Catch you next time.